Hello everyone, what's up? And it is the end of the week. Um, sobrang nakakapagod pa rin kahit wala na akong, um, you know, formal job. But there's a lot of things I needed to do. Um, as a freelancer, I am doing this vlog because of a very important reason. And I need to go somewhere today. So, kailangan kong ayusin ang mukha ko <laughs> habang nag-vlog. Yeah, mahirap kasi maghanap ng time to do vlogs. So, I wanna take every opportunity I can. This topic is super important. Yeah, every time I remember this situation or those situations in my life, it really uh, reminds me of the trauma that it had with it. So, our topic right now is about manipulative and toxic and gaslighting people in the workplace. Please listen to this because you have to take note who these people are and what are you gonna do. So the first time I encountered um, someone like this was when I was around 23, 24. I was super naive and wala akong alam about these kinds of people. I wish someone could have trained me. Still, it was a learning, a learning point in my life. Pero hindi siya necessary mangyari sa iba. Have you ever felt na parang in your workplace, whenever you share a concern about something, most probably ang um, receive mo na feedback is, no, that's not true. Imagination walang yan or um, that's not what we, or that's not what I mean, that's not what that means. You know, yun nga, na invalidate yung sinasabi mo. Even though, deep inside you, alam mo na it's valid, na may grounds yung sinasabi mo. But then when you talk to this person, what you'll hear is something different. And then, you'll eventually feel na, okay, Baka, there's something actually wrong with me. Ako yung mali. That is one signal that you're probably dealing or talking with a narcissistic person. Okay, the next one is, they will show a lot of concern. Like, we noticed that you're like this, you're like that. Are you doing well? Oh, hello? Um, how, are you, how have you been? But, do not believe it. Do not believe that they have a good intention because they don't. A good intention. Most probably, they have something, again, to say about you, to make you feel bad. Okay? Because yun yung point nila. They want themselves to feel good by making you feel bad. So, sumama na yung aso ko. <laughs> they will often turn your concern into your problem. Okay? Ikaw, pala yung may kasalanan, bakit may ganun problema? Pero in reality, hindi eh. Sila yun eh, kasi sistema nila yun, na hindi nila, they don't know, they're not fixing. Next thing is, they will try to win your side. Okay? They will do everything to um, make themselves look good in front of you, while in front of others. They will do the, their best na makita ng iba na mabait sila sa'yo. Na mabait silang tao. Okay, they can do that through gifts, through their words, through their actions, but it's not genuine. Kasi, that is a bait. Okay? They will use it to later on tell you na, I've been kind to you and everything, and this is what I will get. Ganon. Pagka ganon, magtaka ka na. Okay? Wag mong ano, kunin yung bait niya. Ito yung number one na wag mong bibigay dyan sa tao na ganyan, okay? Huwag mong ipigay yung trust mo. Alright? Do not share your own personal problems also to that person. Kasi that person can also use that against you. Everything is about them. Whatever that they get from you, or whatever that they give you, the reason of that is for their own good. Okay? Even if it takes your own mental health, okay? Even if it takes your sanity, 
they will do what they what they can so what will you do when you encounter these kinds of people first thing you're gonna do is to do not give them your trust okay um okay lang kung wala kang share sa workplace share mo na lang sa iba share mo sa family mo number two do not give them a lot of avenues to communicate with you okay most of the time that person would want to draw a lot from you through i don't know social media um talking with you personally anything um kung dumating sa point na nakakausap ka niya keep it short and simple put a boundary number three it wasn't much as much as possible okay give really short and simple answers. Number four, this is super important. Kung talagang debilitating na siya in your health, in your mental health, in your, even in your spiritual health, leave. Umalis ka. I swear. Dati sinasabi sa atin ng magulang natin na um, huwag ka magsettle sa isang guy kasi marami pa dyan. Ngayon, sasabihin ko sa, sa lahat ng siguro ka-generation pa and younger generation na Huwag ka mag-settle sa isang trabaho. Hindi kailangang mag-stay ka dyan dahil lang, dahil lang ano, maganda yung company or may pangalan. Okay? There are a lot of other jobs, kahit yung mga smaller kinds of um, companies, that takes care of people better than these, um, itong mga mababangong kumpanya. Okay? So there are a lot of people who need you. And as a small business owner, Yung mga, yung mga ka-work ko in my, in our small business, ang galing nila. You know, you can, you can work together money, you can, you can make your own thing, you can make your own opportunity. This vlog is really out of my heart, the burden of my heart, about people who are out there na actually, they are after you, and they are after your sanity, they are after your life. And and I, I really hope that you be careful with these kinds of people that you encounter with. Ayun, again, kung hindi mo sila may iwasan, umalis ka. And you deserve, kasi, you deserve your peace of mind. You deserve your sanity. You deserve your health. So thank you for watching this vlog. And I really hope that you are okay today. And, um, that, and I hope that you learned something. And please like and subscribe this channel because um, there are still a lot more content that I have in mind. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.